Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can automatically unlock your device without doing anything. So guys, this is Nexus 6 and as you can see, it has a pattern lock. There are ways in which you can automatically unlock it. So those features or those settings come under the category called as Smart Unlock. So for that, go to Settings and in Security, you should find this option that says smart lock and enter your pattern or password now you have these four options first one is trusted devices so if you are connected to any particular bluetooth device you can configure that device as your trusted device and as long as you are connected to that particular bluetooth device your phone will not ask you for your password for best usage this smart device or bluetooth device can be your bluetooth headset or a smartwatch the next thing is the trusted place so let's assume you don't want to have a lock when you're at home and everywhere else you want to have the lock so you just need to configure that over here just go to trusted places and add a trusted place and this is my home so we can see this border in blue and as long as i'm in this circle i won't be asked to enter the password so to select this circle or select this area, I need to click this button and now just give it some name and press OK. Now let me lock the device. So as you can see, it didn't ask me for the password. So that's the benefit of using a trusted place. So as long as I'm in this place or at my home, it won't ask me for the password. There's one problem with this actually. So you need to have your location enabled for this to work. So if you have disabled your location like this, it shouldn't work. So as you can see, without the location being on, the phone won't know where you are and it'll ask you for the password. So that's one thing you need to keep in mind. Let me just remove that. Now the next thing you can do is enable trusted face. So it's the face recognition software or face recognition unlock. So anyway, you have to make it scan your face. Just put it, just put your face in the circle and it will read it and it's done. So now we can improve the face matching by using this option, but let's quickly give it a try. I have locked the device. So when I unlock it, you can see this profile thing over here. It means it was trying to read my face. And if you see the lock now, it is locked. So it failed to recognize my face. So let's try it once again. You're getting the same icon. And now it is unlocked. Well, this is good to use, but it doesn't work properly most of the time. So let's disable that. Well, it works really well when you are at a good distance from your phone and the lighting conditions are very good. But if any of those things go wrong, you have to enter your password. Next, the final thing that you can do is enable on body detection. If you enable this option, as long as you hold your device, it won't ask you for your password. So let's say I put my phone on the table for some time, say five minutes and I pick it up. It'll ask me for the password. There you go. But as long as it is in my hand or in my pocket or with me, it won't ask me for the password once again. So as you can see, it's a pretty good feature. So these are the ways in which you can automatically unlock your device. And these are the things that works really well. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Whatever I said applies to most of the Android devices. So do check them out in your device. And if you found this video to be helpful, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.